Hi right, guys, um, this is another game pack for today of um, best uh, SNES games to uh, basically uh, play on Halloween. <laughs> And this is 3v3 eyes or 3x3 eyes or 3x3 eyes. I don't really know how you explain that shit, how you would talk or call it. It's 3x3, three, three so I'm guessing 3x3, 3x3 three, three three eyes or 3 for 3 eyes. I don't fucking know, but three six eyes, <laughs> the Juma Hakoen. Um, there's also another one, which is 3x3 three three eyes, Sayama Kurunen. Uh... I don't know. I actually don't know what that what that would be called. But this game plays more of an action adventure slash RPG title, but not really considered. Just like Zelda, can't really can't really consider Zelda an RPG. It's more of an action adventure. I know that's a controversy, critically acclaimed, uh, critically acclaimed topic. But reality is, Zelda is not an RPG, nor will it ever be. Um, collecting hearts isn't really a way of leveling up because you do have a max set amount of hearts. So. Most games, they let you just keep leveling up to like level 50, maybe level 80 or 8 for that matter. Some games peak off a little earlier than others. But, um... oh, look at this cutscene. I should shut up. So yeah, just from online playthroughs, I heard that there's a lot of good things about this game. And that regards, like, you know, it's heavily, not heavily played upon. There is an English trans for this. Unfortunately, I cannot find any good translations for games anymore because of... Uh, oh, excuse me, I have to burp there. Um, because of uh, Nintendo cracking down on emulation, all the translations and patches have been basically taken off the internet, been deleted, and everybody's hiding their shit. So it's extremely hard to find emulations for anything or extremely hard to actually find anything uh, ROM ROM related in general. From ROM hacks to uh, uh, to um, ROM translations, pretty much everything has been sealed up now. Nintendo fucked it up, okay? Players do what Nintendo don't, and Nintendo don't do shit because Nintendo is awful. Nintendo can die out someday. I hope it does die out. I I I see no need in keeping Nintendo around. They don't do anything good for nobody. They just punish people. They punish players. I swear that's the only good thing Nintendo's ever done. It was punish players. Just for trying to play their games. That's even worse. Hey old man. Are you masturbating over there in a the corner? The fuck is wrong with you? Wow, this dialogue is very chitty chatty with the text. It's like, brr, 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 brr. like, please don't talk to me. No more. I don't want it. Can I rob you by chance? Is there anything I can rob you? No, I can't rob you, sadly. I would love to. I, lo I like robbing people in games. It's just hilarious. I need to play Skyrim. I need to go back to playing Skyrim. I stopped playing Skyrim and I now I regret it. Once I played Oblivion, I was like, Skyrim is just garbage. <laughs> the Elder Scrolls is just unplayable once you play Oblivion. Cause you no longer, uh, you no longer see the greatness in that game because of how garbage it is. I'm going backwards. I don't think I want to do that. Hey, look at that dog. It's eating shit out of a bag. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The music is great. I won't lie. This setting right here is actually quite interesting. Let me go ahead and turn on this light here. gonna pick up this key there is long plays of this game long play playthroughs but they're very quick you get me they're like they're not really in depth trying to explain the game they're just you know we're playing we've we played the game before and we're playing it again 
and you, you just watch it's not really for walkthrough it's not a tool assistant video it's um they're just playing it for their own purposes and just uploading it onto youtube um like most long plays don't actually show you how to play the game they just kind of play the game and hope that you can figure shit out um Hey there, you fat bastard. Get out of my way. Zigoho. Nice to meet you, son. I don't know what the hell he just told me. Maybe he gave me the key to something. Who the fuck knows? Okay, I know I've played worse for games, but this shit right here is so confusing without a walkthrough. You'll be consistently walking back and forth. And crazy enough, guys, there are actually boss battles and actual battles in this game. It's not all fidgety jumble shit. It's actually... It's actually playable. I don't know what the fuck I grabbed or how I knew it was there. That's a little bit of choppy, it's kind of choppy and grainy going up and down the stairs. I don't think that's a feature I want to be doing too often. You will be too scared to talk to me for some reason. But like I'm a nice guy, bro. So this game is an odd commodity. Some people say it's a rare hidden gem. I don't think that's the case. I feel like this game is just a rare uh a rare game in general because I don't feel like many people yeah okay so I still have no idea what the fuck I'm doing so I think it's best that I end this episode here. Don't expect a part two of this, because I doubt I could play this game properly. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Till next time. Um, maybe a mobile or a SNES game, who knows. Holy shit, Ocean made this, so it must be good, because Ocean really only makes good games. Like Star Ocean, per se. <laughs> but that was made by Chai Ace as well, so. You know. Oh, they got voice acting. So this is Jurassic Park Part 2 for the SNES. That's actually the name of the game. So we'll play a little bit of this. <clears throat> Because, uh, well, I don't know shit about Jurassic Park, and I figured it'd be good to play a game on it, so that's, that's exactly what the fuck we're gonna do. But goddamn, does this shit look funky as fuck? Like, whoa! Can you, can you drive this shit? <laughs> go! Go, go! He's squinching so hard. Ooh, they got that good-ass graphics. That's that Ack Razor slash um, Canyon Fodder graphics right there.
So with every game, make sure to look at the options because some options have secret menus, secret codes, cheat codes, and a lot of debug things and, well, just normal options and settings, so. So this is a two-player game. I prefer to play by myself, although I could play this game with two players because I do have a friend over. But I doubt that if I put this shit on, would that he would want to play this because we both don't under we we barely even knew this game existed. Um, and for the most part, it acts as a it basically acts as a fucking mini game for. Um, Jurassic Park, which is like, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, so that's the dodge. Weird, it doesn't seem I can pick up weapons. Holy shit. How am I supposed to react fast enough for this? This must be never ending. I guess it's like Blackthorn. No, you can't really dodge just by doing that. Oh, you seen it. Okay, there is that mechanic of... Um, Oh, come on. This game is overly difficult. I don't understand. Look at my thumb going ham and shit. I have no idea what I just did. Seems I've been stuck playing the same fucking level for like forever. Come on. Come on. Bro, like how tax can you get? This is ridiculous. Oops. Ah, oh, you son of a gun. Come on. Quit being so cheap. How did you get me in midair and I clapped you the same time? What the fuck? What the fuck? Hell no, we're not continuing. Suck my dick. Let's try some other different game modes because that one is annoying. So I'm hoping that all the games are different. 
Oh, they're just different stages of the same game. This one just specifically featuring raptors. But these graphics are actually mighty fine. This reminds me of like the Contra of the Contra. Okay, excuse me. Am I missing something here? Why the fuck am I not able to, um... Are you kidding me? You told me they want me to kill at least 93 of these fucking dinosaurs? Yes, they do. Who the fuck has time for that? Fuck you. Okay, I think I'm gonna die. Try a different stage. Because they got me fucked up. On all types of shit. Good night, E. Back at it again with the failures. Seek and destroy sounds pretty interesting, although it's usually search and destroy, but all right. And it looks like the same fucking level. What the fuck? Now that is, that is, that is just... You want to shut the fuck up with that noise. with you um in my snes library i have nothing but rpg games from a to zero all the way to yumi maburoshi gotoko noku uh, no gotoku um i actually had that as a super famicom game um i actually lost that one so i have every snes rpg in my own game collection except for yumi mabu uh yume maburoshi that's why i decided to play it using an emulator uh, because I had, you know, I pretty much suck at the game. But I started off with Akazuken uh, Cha Cha or Shei Shei. 
uh, that was my first in the game library so I decided to uh, play using that one um, but our next LP will probably be Alkahest or another A related game Albert Odyssey maybe Aretha something bring back my old classics that I continue to be continue to bring back almost every year and still continue to play this is a game called Might and Magic Book 2 that's a Japan only game even though there was a Might and Magic 3 the uh, Isles of Terra which I put in my game pack uh, for non-scary Halloween fun games, but um, kind of a stupidly long title. But uh, honestly, I don't know shit about Magic Magic besides the fact that they're dungeon crawlers, and I suck at them completely. They're like Arcana, but Arcana is way better than this shit. <laughs> um, this Japan-only game is way different. Book 2 is way different from the Isles of Terra uh, for so many various reasons that I can't explain. The game itself is all right. But as you can see, it's a Japan-only game, and uh, I wouldn't say it's a generic battle. You can probably go and uh, you can probably go online and uh, check it out. It's uh, it's probably worth your time. So we have the option of changing party members here. So like I said, I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. I honestly think I just broke the game. Well, uh, well, fuck. Um, I guess we'll reset. So yeah, I'm using an emulator to play this game because I don't actually own this one. I do have a wizardry as you know one of my um, basically one of the games that i played tower of draga you know i have those games but i i sold tower of draga uh, which is aka blue crystal rod i sold that game i sold yumi mabroshi uh, actually i lost it i think i sold it or lost it one of the two uh i also had um this game this game mighty magic book 2 but I only ever had it once before a friend took it from me. He kind of stole it from me. It was his game to begin with, and I never played it. It just kind of stood on a shelf of collected dust. So he just came back one day, took it back. He wanted to play through it again. I don't even know how he got it through the first time of this game because, uh, yeah, he does speak Japanese, so I guess that helped. Um, but I couldn't see myself playing this game for more than a five minutes or so, maybe ten minutes just to sit down and delve into it. But uh, I, I, even with a Japanese friend next to me, the game will probably still be too difficult to complete by myself. Uh, so, that being said, I'm going to try to hop back into this again. And... Uh, Uh, this time I hope that uh, Yeah, I have no idea what the hell I am doing No, do I have any idea what these people even want from me, so. Oh, and you can actually get into battles, I forgot. Uh, it tends to happen a lot. So here's the battle system in the game, got to show this off. Um, this game is not, not bad for this battle system. Battle system is pretty unique and uh, actually kind of interesting. Uh, but uh, something that's rarely played, I guess. Smack on him.
I have no idea what the hell I'm doing. I'm just simply attacking. So if you're blind to this game, just go ahead and just rampage and just cut cut shit up, cut it up, cut it up. These have like the the NES graphics. Um, just because of how terrible they uh, actually look here. Let me see. Do I have any here? Then? Just because of how terrible they look. Um, never seen a background where they actually used like the the black palette. It's usually the SNES has so much color to it. It's like why would you? But like, this game is actually pretty old. It came out very late in the SNES lifespan. And are we seriously all missing? We cannot be all missing. So I think in this is run. Got him. What the fuck? Hell no, I took like one step, bro. Like the, I like how the walls don't actually show anything. They just expect you to figure shit out. I like how it throws you right into the game. No explanation required. Just hop into it, kill shit. Oh, I was about to say, we all heavy hitters. Well, if one of my guys dies, I'll switch him out. So I just killed, uh, there's three of them. When there's a number by them, it's kind of like Shin Megami Tensei, meaning that there's that many enemies on screens because they can't actually fill all the enemies. Only like four to three enemies actually fill on the screen at once. So, you can title the gameplay with, you know. Thank you. What the fuck? Like you got me fucked up. I'm not about to fight all these goddamn people. Of course, the fucking exit would be blocked. I feel like even in English, this game is still hard to understand. And I'm, I just gotta, oh my god. I don't have the patience for all of these battles. So it's basically just a run wild, run around until you think that you're doing something. And then when you think that you're doing something, figure out something to actually do. And then when that fails, then you just kind of just do nothing. <laughs> this game doesn't have any manuals, no walkthroughs, nothing. You can't really play this game unless you know Japanese. That is the only way. But enough being said about this game, I no longer, I no longer want to play it. I feel like the Isles of Terror were a little bit better than this game. And the game, the battles in them were pretty short as well. I didn't really know what to do anyways. I don't know what to do on this game, so I'm just probably going to end it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys have, make sure to like, subscribe, give me some feedback. And as always, fans, I will see you guys next time with some more SNES games or Dragonite Part uh, 8. Because uh, Part 7 was pretty short because of my, I accidentally loaded the wrong save state. But anyways, I will see you guys till next time. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys have, make sure to like, subscribe, give me some feedback. And as always, fans, till next time with more SNES gameplay. Bye-bye.